Hi, everybody. It's Precision Weather Service meteorologist Russ Burley. Here's your latest bi-monthly Blue Rock Precision Weather Long Range Outlook. Winter has definitely arrived, and we're going to talk about what's going to happen here in the coming weeks because uh, we think things are going to get pretty wild here. Winters uh, in these El Nino years can sometimes turn on a dime like it has and can get pretty active in a short period of time. So the weather headlines, winter has definitely arrived. It's here. And I think what we're going to see is these quick two- to three-day shots of Arctic air, quick hitting, in and out. We get a cold night or two, a cold day, and quick moderation. I think that's going to be the theme here for the balance of the winter. Here's some fun facts for you to start things out. Warmest January day in Syracuse is in 2008. Believe it or not, it's hits 70 in Syracuse. It did it back in the 60s on one day as well. And the coldest January day we had is back in 1966. The January record low for Syracuse is 26 degrees below zero. Certainly a cooler pattern mid-month. This takes us from 16th of uh, the month to the 21st. And you can see our climate models uh, advertising that cooler pattern across the entire Northeast. We think there's going to be a, a very subtle warming trend for the tail end of the month, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be stormy. We believe things are going to get pretty stormy as we progress deeper into January and February as well. The Canadian climate model has been a rock star in terms of accuracy, or at least in uh, pattern recognition. And we believe that February forecast is uh, pretty close to what's going to happen. So you can see we're going to be in for a fairly cold February. So our winter outlook, the rest of winter should average one uh, degree cooler than normal across much of the Northeast. And we still think we're going to catch up in the snow department. We think there's some lake effect coming and we certainly think there's plenty of storms in the pipeline here in the coming weeks. Coldest relative to averages, we still think it's February. And we believe winter will linger deep into March this year. We'll see how that works out and keep you updated right here. For more information on Blue Rock Energy, energy savings programs, and much, much more, surf on over to bluerockenergy.com. And thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.